Okay, so first of all, click somewhere inside the data set and then go to insert and insert a scatter chart. Then I'll reposition and resize this. And in order to format it quickly, I'll right click and go change chart type and then go to templates and select this template here and then OK. Now I'll create a start date, which will be the 2nd of September. And then I'll make an end date, which will be the 3rd of September. Then copy the headings from here to here. And I'll fill in these two columns using if formulas. So that will be equals if, and then the logical test is if this date here is greater than this date here. So in other words, this date here comes after the start date. And I need to press F4 to put the dollar signs around this cell reference. So it will continue looking in this cell when I send the formula down. Then the value if true will be this date here and the value if false will be the not available error message. And that will stop the data point from being plotted in the chart. And then enter, and then I'll double click in the bottom corner to send this formula down. And at the moment, I don't have the correct formatting. So I will select this column and copy the formatting from here to here. And now this is formatted as date and time. And you'll see that I have NA errors at the beginning. And then on the 2nd of September, it starts showing me the dates. I also have an NA error at midnight on the 2nd of September. If I wanted for this to be a date as well, then I would need to make this greater than or equal to and then I'll send that formula down again. And now I have midnight on the 2nd of September as well. Then the next step is to add in another logical test for the end date. So in order to do that, I'm going to put the first logical test in brackets and then put an asterisk symbol and then put another set of brackets where I'm going to put the second logical test. And that test will be if this date here is less than this date here. So in other words, if this date here comes before the end date. And I need to press F4 again to put the dollar signs around that cell reference so it doesn't change. And the asterisk symbol is Excel's symbol for multiplication. But in this case, what it is doing is saying if this logical test here is true and this logical test here is true, then I want it to show me this date here. And if not, then I want it to show me the NA error. And then I will double click to send that formula down. And now I have dates on just the 2nd of September, and then it goes back to showing me NA errors. I also have an NA error at midnight on the 3rd of September. If I want this date as well, then I need to change the formula to less than or equal to here, and then enter, and I'll send that formula down. And now I have a date on midnight on the 3rd of September. Now I want almost the exact same formula in this column here. So I am going to go into the formula bar and click and drag to select everything. Then control C to copy, escape to get out of that cell and then control V to paste. And now I want to change just one thing in this formula, and that's the value if true, and I'm changing it to the B column, so it will show me the numbers in this column instead. And then I will double click to send that formula down, and now you'll see that I have the CO2 numbers for the 2nd of September as well. Now, the next step is to get the graph to look in these two columns. 
if I click on the series, it will highlight the columns that it's currently looking at. And I can hover over the edge of this range and then click and drag to move it across. And now it's showing me just one day's worth of CO2 data. And I'll drag across the heading as well. And then when I drag across the date column, it changes to show me just one day. And now because the formulas in these columns are linked to these two cells here, if I change the value in one of these cells, then the formulas in these two columns will update and that will feed through into the chart and the chart will change as well. And I'll also demonstrate that working on the start date too. And now I'm going to switch on the date picker add-in. So I'll go to file and options and then add-ins and then manage Excel add-ins and tick on this box here and OK. And now I have the date picker add-in switched on. And if I click in any cell that has a date in it, then this icon will appear and I can click on this and then I can change it to be whatever date I want it to be. And the value in this cell changes and so the graph changes as well. And you can download the Excel date picker add-on from this website here for free and I'll leave a link in the description. Though, of course, you don't need the add-in in order to get this to work. You can just type in the date that you want and the graph will change. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to change the dates on an x-axis of a chart in Excel. And that is everything.